Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another grocery haul and meal plan. Today I am at Walmart. I actually just picked up my groceries. I decided to do Walmart grocery pickup this week because this is actually the week of Thanksgiving and I wanted to be able to <laughs> shop in store at Aldi for my Thanksgiving things but then keep my other groceries for the week separate and so I went ahead and put in a Walmart order. So anyway, I just picked my stuff up. When I get home, I will show you what I got and the total. So here's a look at everything I got this week. I did get some things from Aldi too while I was doing my Thanksgiving shopping but um, the Thanksgiving grocery haul will be in a separate video and you guys will see that on December 1st which is the first day of Vlogmas. But these are all just the regular groceries that I got for this week. And I got some like non-food stuff also, which kind of drove up the price. Um, but we were all out of soda and flavored water. So I got two 12 packs of the cherry limeade. I got a 12 pack of Diet Coke from Aldi. Actually, this will probably be for Thanksgiving. And then I got a 24 pack of Diet Mountain Dew. I did also get 12, or how many is this? One, two, three, four, five, 15 of these sparkling frost drinks from Aldi. These are kind of like the sparkling ice, um, which Adam really likes. And I don't know that these are like the best, um, but they are super cheap. They're only 49 cents each at Aldi. And usually at Walmart or Hy-Vee, they're a dollar each. Um, I grabbed a big jug of orange juice since uh, we'll be having a four day weekend with Thanksgiving and then just some milk. I got this from Aldi. Um, Connor's been eating a lot of cereal and so we've been going through milk faster than we normally do. Um, I did get some Brillo pads. So I watched a video on YouTube this week where um, this guy was cleaning his aluminum sheet pans and he used Easy Off or like oven cleaner and a Brillo pad and I wanted to try that. So I grabbed a box of these and then um, we're also running low on dryer sheets. So I just got the great value um, these are supposed to smell like bounce and they smell super strong because <laughs> I could smell them in my car after uh, they loaded up my groceries. Um, I did have to get some makeup so I was all out of my concealer. This is Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Concealer. I really, really like this. I think it's around $10 um, at Walmart but that's my favorite concealer. And then this is my favorite brow pencil. It is the Almay in the dark blonde and it has a pencil on one end and a brush on the other and then Kira wanted some foundation and concealer so I just ordered her the um, light shades of the elf um, concealer and foundation and then I found the cheese advent calendar at Aldi um, apparently at our Aldi the beer advent and the wine advent sold out like the first day that they, that they had them but they did have the cheese one, so I just opened one of them so you guys could see kind of how big it is. It's just like a very little, not a little, I mean it's a good sized cheese cube I would say. So it looks like there's, what, 25? Oh, 24. 24 mini cheeses. I can't remember how much this was. I think it was like $14.99. Um, and then they had these on sale at Aldi for 99 cents and I keep these in the pantry. Um, they're nice to have on the go like if you want to have apple and peanut butter or a banana and peanut butter. And they're instead of the Jif cups, I'll just open them so you can see, they're actually like little packets which are kind of neat. So for only 99 cents of course I grabbed those. Um, I did get some corned beef hash from Aldi just to have in the pantry because I like to have that for breakfast every once in a while and then a can of ravioli for the kids. Um, I was going to get Halos from Walmart but they were very expensive. They were almost like $6 for a three pound bag and I found these at Aldi for $2.49 and Connor asked me for some of those so I went ahead and grabbed that. Um, I'm going to make some dip this week to have in the refrigerator with veggies. This is the Hidden Valley Chive and Onion Dip. I've never tried this before. So hopefully that's good. Um, I grabbed some M&M's. Uh, we like to have, or the kids like to have actually, uh, M&M's sprinkled in with their popcorn. So Connor had asked for those. And then I found this at Aldi. This is a cauliflower gratin, or gratin. I guess it's not gratin, it's gratin. Um, and it says, a blend of roasted cauliflower in a creamy four cheese sauce with savory Parmesan herbed breadcrumbs. So if you're watching your carbs, um, half a cup serving has looks like nine grams of net carbs so you might be able to make this for less carbs at home but um it looks super convenient obviously just to make like on a weeknight and i bet if you you know cut some of those breadcrumbs out you could save even more carbs so hopefully that's good and then for cheeses 
Um, I got some of the sharp cheddar cheese snacks along with some of the turkey sticks just to keep in the refrigerator for snacks this week. And then I got two bags of shredded cheese just to have on hand for um, soups and things. So I got one Monterey Jack cheese. This is what I usually use in quesadillas. And then one um, mild cheddar cheese. I tried to order the sharp cheddar cheese, but they didn't have it. Uh, I got a dozen eggs from Aldi. Kira like randomly asked me for ramen noodles the other day. She's like, I really like them. And I was like, I don't know the last time you had them, but the last time you had them, you said you didn't like them. But she says she does now. So I got one, just one package of chicken ramen noodles for her just to see if she liked those. For lunch meat this week, I just got some ham and some Oscar Mayer smoked turkey. And then we were all out of peanut butter. Connor has been eating peanut butter sandwiches pretty much almost every day before I take him to swim practice. So we've been going through peanut butter quickly and I grabbed another one of that. Um, one night this week for dinner, I'm gonna make a side of Caesar salad. So I did get some of the New Newman's own creamy Caesar. This is actually really good, I've bought four. We're all out of Parmesan cheese, the green shaker cheese, so I grabbed some of that. I got some sour cream for the ranch dip and then some flour tortillas for quesadillas or sometimes the kids like it when I make them breakfast tacos. Um, not too much produce also, just because I'm really only buying groceries for like three days or three or four days this week. So I got some grapes. It's, I, I can't tell you, I think twice now I've accidentally ordered seeded grapes from Walmart. So you have to be very careful, especially when you're ordering online, that you pick the right thing. And so yes, I did get the seedless grapes this time. Uh, for salads and sandwiches, I got one package of green leaf lettuce and one head of iceberg. I was trying to find romaine and they didn't have any. I actually think romaine might be on a recall right now, so maybe that's why, but I grabbed those. I got a pack of cucumbers for salads and dipping, some baby carrots, and then some already washed cauliflower and some tomatoes for that dip as well. And then I got some the kids some Capri Sun for them to take in their lunches. Um, I really need to get to Costco. I know I've been saying that for a while and I probably won't get there until December now. But uh, if you like Bounty Paper Towels, the Aldi brand of their paper towels are really, really good. And I would say they're comparable to Bounty. So check those out if you haven't already. And then lastly, they were offering free water with Walmart grocery pickup today. So I don't, I haven't cut this open yet, but there's gotta be like eight bottles of water in here, which I thought was really nice. So that's everything that I got this week. Let me show you the meal plan. Okay, so I'll just mention really quickly about my meal planner um, because sometimes I still get questions about that. I always have this linked in my description box. It's a Carrie L meal planner, and I believe she's coming out with new designs soon, so check that out. Um, I have the mini meal planner, which is smaller than an eight and a half by 11, and that's what I have been using, and I love it. So I'll also have this meal plan typed out in a PDF, and you can download it in the description box below if you want to for your own meal inspiration. So last night was Saturday. Uh, we had bacon wrapped scallops in the air fryer, and then I made some tortellini for the kids, just some cheese tortellini with Alfredo sauce. And then I made like a cauliflower, sort of like creamy fake rice. It was really good. I just took um, rice cauliflower and added a little bit of half and half, a little bit of butter, some Parmesan cheese and some Fontina cheese, and it was really good. Um, tonight for dinner, I'm gonna make chicken breast with a tomato vinaigrette and some flatbreads and some salad. Um, Monday, I have a cracked chicken chili in the freezer that I was supposed to cook last week and didn't, so I'm going to put that in the crock pot, and then we'll just have tortilla chips and fruit with that. On Tuesday, I have another freezer meal, which is the chicken Alfredo shells. Um, you guys will have probably already seen these chicken freezer meals video. I'm planning on posting that on Thanksgiving. So I, these have come in handy, especially this, these past few weeks when we've been busy with swim. So chicken Alfredo shells with salad and fruit. I'll post the recipes for both of these chicken meals down below. And then Wednesday, uh, pizza burgers. This was a ground beef freezer meal that I made and we haven't eaten yet. Uh, waffle fries, veggies, and dip. And then Thursday is Thanksgiving. And then so Friday, I just have down that we're doing leftovers. So thanks so much for watching this grocery haul and meal plan video. If you guys want to let me know what you're having for dinner this week, I always love seeing that because it gives me ideas as well. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.